Welcome back traders. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to import the freebie. Welcome back traders. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download the freebie to your computer. Uh, if you don't know about it, then just scroll below. In the description, you should find the link to download the freebie. There are two files, XML files and an ebook companion. Just download it to your computer, follow the instruction in the video, and you should be able to install it inside Strategic Quantex. Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to import the freebie that I sent you into Strategic Quantex. If you don't know, uh, so you can see it uh, below in the description of this video. There is a freebie that you can download. Just go to this address, which will be in the description below, stateoasis.com slash candlesticks pattern ebook freebie. Just enter your name, email address, click download now. You should receive an email within seconds, download link. When you download, you'll have a zip file and just unzip it using any uh, uh, free software uh, like WinZip or uh, 7 and you'll find inside it three files. So one of them is the companion ebook and two of them is for strategy Quantex with the extension XML. The uh, book has a description of all the uh, the candlestick patterns and has uh, some intro and some links. It's a great companion book, so you can read through it. Uh, in the meantime, let's download the blocks. So open your uh, strategy Quantex. Uh, just a warning, uh, I'm running version 128.182. Uh, Algo Wizard, as you know, it's a relatively new module, especially with the custom blocks. And I think it's still very buggy. It's uh, workable, but it's extremely buggy. In fact, it took me like almost uh, two days, like, you know, uh, not even th probably three days, like uh, definitely plus 20 hours just to program these blocks because it keeps crashing. It's not accepting more than 11 lines. Uh, I guess they didn't expect uh, somebody to beat it up like me. So anyway, in any case, if it doesn't work, just don't worry. Just restart SQX and it will work again. So go to Algo Wizard and go to Custom Blocks and go to Import. Then navigate to the folder and you want to click on the first file, which is Custom Blocks, version 8. Select. And this says that if you already imported it, then now you're going to overwrite it, which is always OK. I mean, in this case, not always, but in this case, it's always OK. So if you imported in the beginning, it didn't work, just re-import and say yes. If the software crashes or you have a UI issues, which is what I'm having, then just restart Strategy Quantex and you should see all the blocks already imported. So let's see what happens. Yeah. So UI is loading, please wait. Even though it crashed, uh, the blocks will be there. I think the, uh, the programmers did not expect too many blocks because I noticed that even the, the UI, like after 11 lines, it doesn't scroll properly. So, okay, it just crashed and I restarted SQX. So now if you go, most likely it will be there and you don't need to import. Yep. So all the blocks are here. And uh, so if it crashes, just restart and it should be there. Also, I notice sometimes when you import, the opposite block will not be there. Some of them, uh, in fact, it will be... Uh, one missing one in one missing one in so just in case uh, 
you want to do it yourself. So, because uh, here's the thing. So in Builder, let's say in Builder, when you when you want to build long and short with symmetry, yes, with entry symmetry. What that means is strategy quant X want the opposite block so it can do the sim the symmetry. So in this case, the hammer is opposite to shooting star, bullish engulfing is opposite, bearish engulfing, and so forth. So I notice sometimes when you import that it will be missing. In case it's missing, you just click on opposite block and you go to choose existing and you just choose the opposite block, which is all in the uh, companion ebook. Okay. And if it loads fine like this, then that's okay. And these two are not set. These are the spinning top and doji. And this one, the close near 1% of MA also not set. There is no opposite. Not all blocks are, have opposites. Okay. That's one. Now that this is done, then we can go to random groups and we want to click on import. And then we will load the next file, which called, which is called group blocks. It's version three now. And this interface is much better than custom blocks. As I said, the AlgoWizard module is relatively new and the custom blocks are definitely new. So as you can see here, the, the interface is much better. Uh, you can pick and choose what to import. Uh, and it's no crashing. I imported many times. It doesn't crash. You can see it's imported fine. Just click on save. Now what I did here, what's the point of this? So bullish candle patterns are already here. And here's the other thing I told you. See how the programs did not expect more than 11 blocks. So you can see even it doesn't go further and there's no scroll bar. So it's still under development, I guess. But the good thing about the programmers with SQX, they're always updating the software. And uh, I already informed them about uh, these uh, issues. So it should be solved in the next version, hopefully. Then we have the bearish patterns and we have the indecision patterns. And we have the patterns with indicators, which is just the one right now with the 1% of MA. Now that both of these are imported, you can use the group and the templates. So if you click on setting, go to advanced and switch on template. Now, if I want to choose a uh, I can choose a block or I can choose a uh, group. So let's say if we do um, random condition, you can pick here one of the blocks we have. So on this, it will show up. So bullish candle, this is all the bullish candle patterns. And if you confirm, then it will pick one of these blocks here in this template. Okay, that's where you use the group. As for the uh, as for the custom blocks, they will show up in builder, full settings, building blocks, and they will show up in the signal predefined conditions under custom. And if you see those headings, so look for custom, There it is, custom conditions. These are the blocks. So I hope that worked well for you. If not, please post any questions down below the video and I'll be happy to answer and help anybody with importing them. Once you import them and everything is good and running, then go to the next video where I will show you how to use them. Great. That was easy. Now that you have everything inside Strategy Quantex, let's go to the next video. So I'll show you how to use those blocks to build excellent strategies. See you in the next video.